And in studio, we have uh, the Deputy Governor, Polikap Igade, and we're re really grateful that you've made time for us. Uh, but you'll start with telling us uh, your opinion on this, the filthy state of sanitation. But just before that, as you've seen flashing there on your screen, the breaking news that uh, the uh, a court has nullified the election of Wajir Governor Mohammed Abdi Mahmoud. And, of course, one of the petitioners uh, had the, held that he was not qualified for the seat. And uh, there were also complaints of uh, voter bribery within that process within August 8th elections. And so that election has been nullified of the Wajir Governor Mohammed Abdi Mahmoud. Just uh, as that breaking news came in, uh, we were looking at a feature done by Nimrod Tabu a few weeks ago, looking at the state of the sanitation, filthy state, uh, Poli <clears throat> Uh Thank you very much and thanks for having me. And uh, let me start by taking responsibility. Uh, for the frustrations the Nairobi, Nairobians are feeling, and especially the, the particular clip that you played. Uh, we welcome the feedback, the building feedback. We welcome the criticism. Uh, uh, yet at the same time, let's say, this city is 696 square kilometers. The feature was on two roads in CBD. And yet it shows how and, desperate and, it is. And it sets, it sets, the, it sets the, the agenda. I'm not saying that that's not, that's not the way it is. But I can assure you, after we have started devolving uh, the garbage collection, a lot of work is ongoing. I think since the last 10 days, or for, let me say in the last 10 days, there's been a redoubling of effort in picking up this garbage and dealing with the deviance, especially of private garbage collectors who collect, for instance, you collect garbage from an estate, but you come and dump it in a back lane uh, in CBD, which was happening with a, with a lot of impunity. So we are starting to enforce that, and there's a lot of people in court today right. and tomorrow and the day after to do it. How all, exactly all, is this? All, all we are asking for is right. patience. Well, our term is 60 patience months. Patience even when businesses are closing uh, because they can't Mark, run. our term is 60 months. Right. We've only been here for four months. But people would expect you to start is, working on day one. That is six. Hit the ground running. That is say. that is six percent of the time, uh, and I welcome. I, I completely welcome uh, what you're saying. Uh, we, it's not as if we've been sleeping, and um, uh, s to offer services we must generate revenue. So there's been a couple of things we've done right. There's definitely stuff we've not done right, and I completely agree. Like you were chatting before, if you ask me to give ourselves a mark, I'll perhaps say we are at thirty-five percent out of a hundred. Actually, you said fifty percent, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. You're, now you've reviewed it, yeah. seeing what uh, the state is of sanitation. Be be because you have to calibrate your marks based on your customers' view of what you're doing. All right, let's let's work with this uh, new implementation of the devolved uh, system of uh, the sanitation and garbage collection uh, to the sub counties. How exactly is this uh, going to be working? Um, we want to hire about a, a hundred young people to a hundred young people per ward. We have 85 wards in Nairobi. So those are 8,500 people who we can pay on a monthly basis, who we can or who we will pay on a monthly basis just as when we are processing our payroll. And then these people will be the effective collectors of that garbage. And then they hand them over to the people who should transport it to Dandora Dam site. So we have two problems. It's the overall collection of the garbage and also moving it, making sure that it gets to Dandora and paying people based on getting to Dandora. There was a lot of um, the whole control and assure system from collecting the garbage to making sure it gets to where it should be dumped was not happening in the past. And so we are trying to correct the system. And we understand the patients. We impatience. We understand the impatience uh, because anyway, we were elected. We should be working from day one. So we understand the impatience. All what we want to assure you is we are on the job. We are not sleeping. All right. So you you haven't yet uh, employed these. Uh, it's this is this is different wards. Exactly. This You're is looking what, at eight thousand, little over eight thousand. Uh, eight thousand five hundred. Will they and be part and of NCC? Of course, they will be. They will, right. uh, they'll be. They'll be contractors into into NCECs, but higher than that's the advertisement that my boss was uh, talking about just now out of Mombasa. And we have already, you know, before everybody used to sit in City Hall. Now we have devolved sub-county administration. We have people called sub-county administrators. Every county has an administrator and every ward has a ward rep. Their number one job is garbage. All right. So that's, that's the way we are looking at it. Well, is this part of uh, your you know, make, effort of making the NCC workforce uh, younger? Because you pointed out, I uh, think, last week that you have a little over 12,000 NCC staff, 50% who yeah. are um, over 55. Well, uh, so, uh, 
Is let this me, one of the ways of making this a useful? Let, let me break it down. Um, let's come from the f trees, let's go to the forest. All right. The forest that's Nairobi City County, yeah? rather than the tree that is garbage. Garbage is one, one, one issue which we have to deal with. Um, one of our biggest challenges is people and culture at Nairobi City County. We have an aged workforce, not fit for purpose and unproductive. And we are dealing with it by offering voluntary early retirement. So looking for money to do that and hiring young people. How do you expect a 60-year-old person or 55-year-old person to focus on garbage collection uh, or do the work of garbage collection when we have a lot of young people who are unemployed? So that's part of the job we are doing. Um, but these 8,500 will be contractors into, uh, into the system, uh, and that's the way we are going to work. And we are, we, this idea we've, uh, is an idea of the, of the governor, and we are working closely also uh, with our county assemblies to make sure that we are all monitoring garbage. Right. I'll tell you, Nairobians want to see simple, basic, practical things, and that's why they elected us on Let's Fix Nairobi. Okay. They want us to collect garbage. They want us to get, to get water in their taps. Decongest the city. Uh, they, and they want to decongest the city. They're telling us, you do these three things, we'll, we think we're going to consider you for round two. And that's primarily what we are focused on. And to be honest with you as a politician, uh, Mark, bear with us, we are the people with the, nobody's held more accountable in this country more than a politician because every five years we stand up and, and we seek uh, another mandate. Actually, but civil, the civil, for you. The civil, the, the, yeah, yeah, it's every, every day. Every day for you because uh, this is uh, the capital. The civil, the, civil, uh, the civil service are permanent and pensionable. And there is the creative tension. I'm sure even so Matiangi also expressing a little bit of frustration around the speed of things right. uh, happening. But for us, uh, I want to assure the people out there that the governor is focused. Because one, All his right. first promise was a clean and bright Nairobi. All right. To do that, we have to get rid of dame, uh, garbage, we have to, get, we have to avail water, uh, and we have to make sure sanitation, especially sewer, is, is fixed. So those things we're doing. You still sound like you're in the campaign mode because people now want answers. But yeah. we've mentioned so, so decongestion. You've mentioned decongestion. Mm. And uh, one of my colleagues, Seto Lale, is, I believe, at Luthuli Avenue, just to oh. give us a picture. But, but never of, worry uh, when you see a wait, never on, worry, never on. worry when you let's see a politician campaigning. We campaign every day. All right, <laughs> all right. But let's have some service because uh, we employed you to get give us some services. Yeah. Um, Seto Lale, give us a picture there of the uh, how things are in terms of uh, the congestion. Well, thank you so much, Mark Masai. Luthuli Avenue, a very busy street in Nairobi CBD. And you know what? It's not only about the matatus parking on either side of the street, but also about the bad state of the road. And drivers as we have been complaining about, you know what? Drivers and, uh, as well as riders have been complaining about the state of the Luthuli Avenue. Not only the road itself, and also when you go down to River Road, as well as uh, Koja Roundabout, drivers say that the state of the road is a nightmare and i'm just going to involve some of the border border operators over here who've been complaining about uh, the state of the road saying that it, it has caused them a big deal when it comes to business and there have also been accidents which have been contributed with the uh, bad state of the road and right now i'm joined by uh, mr frederick frederick ebu just twambe to kuhusu ibarabada ya lutuli avenue uh, camera Eh, barabara si mzuri sana eh, kwa wakati huu inaka kama shamba especially kutoka hapa ludhuli ukiteremka chini hapo river river road alafu uteremka kirinyaga inaka kama shamba so uko nali to enjoy hata nikuja na mashini hata nasema ati sijui wanae kama potol hapo downtown na wapi hiyo downtown hiyo hizo mashini zake za kushiba mapotol azionekani si, sisi kama watu wa motorbike na watu wengine wa matatu hapa tunaumia sana ju unaona barabara yenyewe haiko poa ukiangalia hata ukitembea tao Barabara yote kutoka huko juu huko fire station kuteremka mpaka hapa mashimo mashimo kila mahali so sijui tafanya namna gani kama anaweza tusaidia ashughulika na barabara especially hapa Ludhuli hadi kule Kirinyaga road kuna kaa kama mashimo huko riverside ni pabaya sana iko mzuri ashughulikie barabara kama inawezekana wasikuwa na to enjoy eh yeah. There has also been an issue about, you know, what littering, especially in the CBD. And it's only that if you go a bit down when you're going towards uh, River Road, we, we were able to see garbage literally on the streets, as well as there's a lot of congestion actually by motorists, as well as uh, pedestrians and border border operators. And I'm just going to involve uh, Frederick again, the issue about congestion. Congestion mingi sana na jam. Wafikiria nini na kosi yo jam? 
hiyo jam most of the time ina waga na kosi wana na nini na au yani hao makara operate na wenye wanayofanya na matatu juu unapata ga wale wase wa matatu wale wana deal na matatu most of the time wana kwa arrest na wakiwa arrest so unapata ga most of sometimes wana goma ama wanafunga barabara unaona kama juzi motorbike zimeshikwa jana sana zimeshikwa sana wanashinda wanashika motorbike na hiyo pesa hata wakichukua kwa motorbike washughuli kutengeneza barabara ju barabara zinakaa tu mbovu Okay right now right now we have the deputy uh, governor in studio in the NTV studios uh honorable Mr. Uh, Polikapi Gade what would you want to tell the deputy governor in terms of the state of the road on Luthuli Avenue even as you face the camera Sai tunajua yeye kwa kusema kweli governor akona deputy governor especially ni mtu ni mtu wako na brains tunasema tunaweza sema ni mtu wako na akili eh yeye anaweza atumie hiyo juzi ila amekuwa akitumia kule kwa hizo makampuni kubwa kubwa alete hiyo juzi hapa Nairobi asaidie nani Kisonko manake Sonko peke yake hawezi sawa eh. okay thank you so much and you know that's some of the views from the motorists as well as boda boda operators here in Luthuli Avenue and you know what is just about uh, the state of the road and not only the state of the road but also this used to be you know a free street where by motorists used to drive freely but that's not the case anymore because we have you know what matatu or psvs parked on either side of the road and apart from that we also have boda boda operators also doing their businesses and all of this is affecting the pedestrians who are also using this particular street you know to be to able to be able to access various business ventures and mark masai you had one of the boda boda operators you know what posing a question or just you know commenting on the issue and you know what this issue is directed to the deputy governor and they say they really want him to intervene as far as their welfare is concerned mark Thank you very much, Seth Olale, joining us from Utuli Avenue here in the CBD. Um, Polika Pigade, uh, compliment there coming your way, but as well a challenge. Is this what we want to persevere and uh, deal with throughout the year, the congested streets? And let me also welcome uh, the comment uh, from, uh, from the, the, that specific Nair from Nairobians, especially around Utuli, and say this. The region below Tomboya, going all the way to the river. It's unfortunate that the entire nation of Kenya is decanted transport-wise into Tomboya Street, River Road, Kirinyaga Street. And we have done that time immemorial. Last year, towards December, just before we went back for the second round of the presidential re-election, we gazetted a decongestion plan, the first step of decongestion, which is to stop this decanting of all upcountry matatus into just that region. Not only do upcountry matat matatus and transport come into that, I'm talking about Nyamakima, Duruma Road, Tea Room, um, and all the matatus from maybe the, especially the Eastland side, and even uh, from, uh, they all come there. So what happens, uh, small scale traders or hawkers follow the traffic to be able to sell them goods there. Um, and then everybody then, shop, shoppers also follow. So there's a lot of congestion that we admit, that I admit, that we take responsibility for. One how of, are you taking responsibility so, so for what, it? So how we are fixing it is by coming up with a commuter rail plan using the existing uh, rail. And this is part of the Nairobi Integrated Urban Transport Master Plan. And the first steps have already started. Mark, I would like you to send the same reporter who was there to climb, to, uh, not to climb, to, to take the train from the train station and go all the way to Gidurai and go all the way to Kikuyu and start to see we are spending $300 million, that's 3 billion shillings, to fix train stations so that we try and get Nairobians to use the train and get Matatus, rather than coming into CBD, to decant people into train stations. And I'll tell you, uh, I'll, I'll tell you how that will work. Because the biggest creator of traffic jam in CBD, number one creator of traffic jam is private vehicles. I repeat, private vehicles, not matatus. Right. What we want, the vision, the policy we want in five years that you, you will see is a pedestrianized CBD, no more matatus. And if you look at that area, uh, Luthuli specifically, uh, people are using the whole streets to park their buses. Uh, Neo Kenya, Embasava, uh, all those, are, I'm sorry to use a specific name, but they all, you have 200 buses, but they have no one to pick, but they are packed right outside people's shops. 
So this is the first step we took was to publish that gazette and we are moving to enforce that gazette. We delayed the enforcement of that gazette uh, for more public consultation, for more uh, votes? Pu pu uh, public participation, and of course for votes. Yes, no, right. So no, you delayed no sweat. that so that you wouldn't displease no, them no, and they would no, give you the votes? No, no, no sweat. So we are moving in now to enforce and, and what to, are the timelines of this enforcement? Uh, Will we, we see Lutheran we are hoping, Avenue we are hoping, the we are hoping as we begin February, February. We will see. You will see that, and if you move and see the work we have done in the Ngara area, we have created a bus stop at Desai, on Desai Road. If you go to the whole of Guru Nanak, Ngara is going to be the place you want to decant all Matatus. We are negotiating right now with a railway pension plan to, to purchase... Uh, to do an exchange of land against the, the rates they owe us for 42 acres sitting in Gara, where we will make the biggest bus station uh, in Gara next, next near Nguru Nanak between Forest Road uh, and this other road. And this, Just is, like for the, this is for the city matatus or city, also the ones from no, our no. country? Up country matatus, first of all, will not, all of them. Into CBD, we want you to just pick and drop. CBD will be a pick and drop right. zone. Starting when? February. February. Yes. All upcountry matatus and buses, yes. as well as uh, CBD. the city we are moving. buses and, we are moving. and matatus. We are moving. They will be at, at Ngara. Yeah, and we, then we'll start decongesting the south of Tomboya. Let me tell you, if you look, what is an acre of land value? What is the value of land for an acre below Tomboya? It is very low density area. We want to regenerate that bit. Uh, and we have to do it by starting to decongest. So that's the plan. And the, just so I finish the commuter rail plan, which is part of the Nairobi, Na Nairobi Metropolitan Traffic Authority, mm -hmm. NAMATA. That's why NAMATA was formed by presidential decree, by the way, on 18th of February, uh, the, the, um, the, the year before. We want a system, because around Nairobi Metropolitan area, we, there is a population of 15 million people. You know, we talk about 5 million Nairobians, but that's just within Nairobi City County. Right. We want to see a train. My, the vision of the government, national government, county government, is to see the, train, the commuter rail train move from Central Station into Makadara, into Githurai. From Githurai, there's a line that goes to Kiambu, brand new line. Then it goes to, from Kiambu, it goes to Limuru. From Limuru, it connects back to Kikuyu. From Kikuyu, on your way down, before it gets to Kibera, it branches off to Ngong, Kitengela, Athi River. So we've created a loop line. And we think with 30 billion shillings, we are able to be able to do that master plan. And in every train station, we create a market, um, a, mark, yeah. a market for hawkers and a park and ride station. So if you're coming from Kikuyu, for instance, you park your car at the Kikuyu uh, railway station. You take the train in uh, into the station. If you're coming into CBD, You'll only come with your private car because you know where to park. And then we remove all the on-street parking, which today is occupied by taxis, uh, taxi cabs, uh, and all these on-street parking. We remove them so that you're only parking in a building upstairs or you're parking uh, underground. And then it's all pick and drop, pick and drop uh, within CBD. That's the plan. That plan, Nairobians will realize it in two years. You know in when two you, years. We know when you have a headache. When you have a headache, I'm um, just to use the analogy, you take a Panadol. There's a time between the pain in your head and the time you swallow uh, the pill. There's a, just a little bit of a lag time. And I think that's what we are starting to do. But it requires a lot of public participation. As you know, constitutionally, we can't govern without consulting the people. So it takes time to do that consultation. And we've done the consultation with uh, the Matatu People Welfare Association, the, the all Matatu in owners. To this plan? Uh, they're all starting aligned. Starting February? They are all aligned. Okay to be they are, they are, and whoever is not aligned, then the time for debate is finished. All now right. it's time to go. All right. Uh, and also the, the railway plan that you, uh, it really looks good, sounds really good. And you say $3 billion has been spent so far. Uh, then when can we start seeing the full effect and, and uh, the benefits of it? Actually, let, me, let me take the opportunity to actually encourage Nairobians, to, especially along the Eastlands lane, going all the way to Dandora, Gidurai, let me even say Ruiru. Mm -hmm. uh, start using the train, just like people from Siokimau into CBD use the train. You're wasting time bringing your personal cars. If I've taken the train myself from Siokimau in, it's a very comfortable ride. And we even have a more novel idea. 
we want to work, we are working with Kenya Railways to say in the future, mm -hmm. Kenya Railways should just be the, the provider of infrastructure. The train coach itself, they can concession the coaches to different matatu circles so that a circle owns a coach. So it encourages them to, so they don't feel that the train is taking their business. So that you're able to decant passengers uh, into, into, into the train stations and train stations become the hub of business and parking uh, around Nairobi CBD. And you must remember politics is important because for the first time the metropolitan area is under uh, aligned political leadership. Machakos, Kajiado, Kiambu, Nairobi, if you want to, you can even add Muranga. And all those governors uh, have asked us and have committed to this plan under the under the Metropolitan Area Improvement Plan. Okay. And, 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 and these are not new plans, these are plans we found shelved, um, which we are taking and activating, and, uh, and under the leadership of those governors, uh, they are very, very committed to moving. We are hoping Nairobi will start to see a loop line um, that will work, because... Hoping. Yeah. But, but you say the two years uh, it will take to really uh, recognize this... Uh, to realize it. Yeah, but, the first, realize. but the first step of that plan is already done. Right now, as I speak to you, the Makadara station is done. The Gidurai station is done. The which other station? If you take that line from from Central Station all the way to Ruiru, even when you go there, which is in the county of Kiambu, you will see that those train stations are done, and park and ride stations are starting to come up. If you go all the way to Kikuyu, that station is done. Uh, so that work has has has, has already started. Right. So, but this work of decongesting CBD coming back is we have to stop decanting the whole country into three streets. This does not happen under, under Sonko uh, Nigathe's administration. Right. This has happened time in memorial. Right. So we have to change our thinking, and we need a little bit of less cynicism uh, and a little bit of less uh, uh, negativity to the idea, and we all carry one another, and we move. Okay, we'll, we'll get to the conclusion of this uh, because there's also the issue of the hawkers. You've mentioned it in the decongestion plan with uh, dealing with the uh, Matatu stages outside of the CBD and uh, that perhaps is one of the reasons or ways that you'll have to deal with it. But uh, we'll conclude with this because we have to take a break. I'll be back shortly.